This is his dad, right? Oh, let's get the let's get the close up of his dad. That's what we were talking about right there. Yep. That is Eddie Anderson. This is it, honey. This is my place of business. This is where I make my living, you know? I guess you could call me something like a doctor. Yeah. This is my operating room. This is my operating table. And this is my scalpel. <laughs> Would you stand in the patient, please? I'm ready to remove his bankroll. We on our way, man, to see this person. Literally could say, if not for this man, we probably wouldn't have this podcast going. Because, uh, you know, just a little history. Facts. facts. A little history. This is actually where me and Facts met up. Where we, uh, you know, where we uh, cross paths. So, we're taking you down memory lane. Actually, memory circle. Or the Rochester circle. I'm going to check out my man, Mr. Anderson. Historical location, too. Historical lo location in L.A. Black man getting that bread. Yeah. You know, great mentor. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. His father. His father was a um, one of the first, I think, comedy slash actors in Hollywood. Yeah. We gonna get it right. We gonna get it. Right. We gonna ask him. We gonna get. The, we gonna get the words on the ETA. We didn't even tell him that we're gonna pull up today. Oh yeah, that's a good this part. Is, this is a surprise. Yeah. So we're hoping for our sake that he's actually there. Yeah. <laughs> if not, we're gonna get his staff and we're gonna tell them like, yo, y'all better let him know that we was here. Exactly. Cause you know who the fuck we is. Yeah. That's where we at, man. That's where it all started at. I just was like, shit. Matter of fact, you should tell him. You should tell him. Huh? cameras back then. They had to draw them, bro. Look at this beautiful staircase. It's beautiful. Got the old antique stuff up in here. Office is that way. Oh, okay. Some more oil painting. This is the off-limits room. You can tell. You can definitely tell this is the off-limits room. This is the room where your grandma used to put all the fucking plastic on the, on the, on all the furniture. Look at this chair though, bro. That looks like a scary chair. Let me sit in it. That looks like an Adams Family type chair. It looks like a chair you get executed in. Fitting in a electric chair because my life sucks <laughs> and I want to die. Turn it on, Jimmy. <laughs> A celebrity. This is all about him right now. It's all about this guy. Oh, let me there put he my is. Stuff back. <laughs> let me put my stuff back. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Look at fly. Let me put it back. What's going on? What's up, dude? Man, huh? a little filming, man. I know. I seen you guys. Yeah. I came here to thank you, bro. Good. Do I get location fees? What's yeah. going on, man? Look at that. This is class. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. him on so the. We got. We got the footage, man. These are some of the souls. He came that, out with the invisible yeah, yeah. burner. These are some of the souls that came through the house here. Yeah, that's how it works. Well, we've had two this, different this, times. This right. episode is actually about you. Really? Yeah. We didn't tell you. It was a surprise. Oh, it was a surprise. Yeah. yeah. It's all good, man. I'm ready. He's ready. He's ready. Look at this guy. Yeah. I probably knew you were coming, huh? Look at this guy. You had the energy. You had the <laughs> you, you I didn't felt tell you them? coming. Uh, no, I didn't, didn't tell him anything. Tell him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. Oh, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Work that fuckery. Isn't that what they call it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, back to fuckery. Back to fuckery. Back to fuckery. I'm hoping it's going to be something. We were showing them where we, we were started at. Really? Where we started at. Yeah, basically. Good. And, uh, and you know, footage. Excellent. Basically, uh, how we were doing really, really bad at one point. Mm -hmm. You know, we're starting to do a lot better. Excellent, and, that, and that's good to that's, know. And as you know, that was always my intention. Yeah. Get it? 
Yeah. So whatever part I've played, I'm looking at you guys right now. Yeah. And in your eyes, it looks like you guys doing okay. Yeah. That's all that matters. That was yeah. it. At one point, I wasn't able to smile. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So that's good, man. Yeah. That's, that's all it's about. Guess what? Uh, my success mm -hmm. is really your success. So when you uh, when you get success, that's the way I get my success. Watching yeah. you do what you guys do. Yeah, we're gonna have a percentage right. for you. It's, it's <laughs> all good. Just just the mere of the mere point that mm -hmm. you came here and to even participate in what you're doing right now, you gave back. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. That was real. Cause guess what? That's a contract. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good one, right? Yeah. That's what we need to stay. That's what we, we try to do. You see it? There you go. Yeah. And that's the problem a lot of times that we don't contract from each other, mm. yeah. right? Yeah. And sometimes it's just about the money, but it's not about that at all. So no, this isn't about the money. Yeah, if I had something to spare, yeah. and that's what I did with you guys, you know, mm -hmm. I found the spare, you get it? It was there. Yeah. So then I gave it to you guys, right? Yeah. It's all good. And just, en works. just enough time for us and yeah. me. There it is. That's it how is. it works, man. It's like a portal right here. Yeah, yeah. isn't that a trip? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it goes deeper than, uh, just a human being thing. It's a, it's really spiritual. It really does. It transcends. This guy was so already for. He's already for the. For the <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah. he's so ready. Yeah, you, he's just in the moment. He's well, the guess what? <laughs> I think, and you know that about me. I, I think we all are. If we want to make a comparison, we're like antennae or antennas. Mm -hmm. Some people's antennas are really small. Yeah. So they're not receiving a whole lot. Yeah. Mm. And or at the time. They're not receiving, but you still have the opportunity to pull that in. What happened to my man, Michael oh, Jackson? Man. What happened to him? Yeah. Maybe his antenna. <laughs> really? Maybe his antenna. You talking about uh, Casanova. Uh, Casanova. Well, not Michael Jackson. But not the Michael Jackson. Not Michael the real Jackson. one, but. Uh, Close. Well, we better not say real, because uh, Casanova will come over here and call to kill us. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, but we're I trying, haven't talked to, to him. to him on the track, man. And yeah. The glove. Really? Hey. <laughs> I always try to bring him in. Yeah. For some reason, he's always on he's my radar. He's good for facts and Yeah, he'd be a great yeah, yeah. So, so who knows? Uh, Casanova, we're looking for you. We're gonna make a podcast right called Finding for Michael. For yeah. We're, yeah, Finding yeah. Michael. Yeah, Finding yeah. Michael. Gonna gonna awesome. Vegas. Yeah. I, know I, know oh, I know where he is. Oh, you know where he is? No, but I have his number. <laughs> we can find him. Yeah. <laughs> GPS, Finding baby. Michael, bro. Yeah. Tell you. yeah, we can find him. Cool, man. It's all love, man. Let me see what comes out of this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what's going on. But we we, we definitely we also wanted to proposition you. Yeah. Because you know. On camera too. No, uh, yeah, on camera. I mean, yeah. So you can what's respond. The proposition? What's the proposition? Well, I know you always had um an idea about doing that uh like documentary about your father. Yeah. Well, I don't know exactly how to phrase this, boss, but you know that nice shiny bell you had on your bicycle? Yes. Well, I just won that back. What? The rest of the bike is in escrow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you mean to say you lost my bicycle shooting crap? Well, I was lucky for the first three passes. Lucky? And then what happened? My dice went into a minuet and my opponent became suspicious. Oh, well, I don't care what happened. I want you to go to that garage and tell your friend to give you back my bicycle. Without paying for it? Yes, without paying for it. Now, just grab it. Now, wait a minute, boss. That boy's got a razor that does everything but run out and get the mail. Well, Rochester, what are you scared of? You carry a razor yourself. Yeah, but it's only a Gillette, and I'm out of blame. Uh, his name is Eddie Rochester Anderson. Yes. And he was a very well-known actor uh, beginning, oh, my God. Well, even as a child, he was performing, right? He's an entertainer. He was part of what you call the minstrel uh, circuit. Mm -hmm. And what that was was almost what we see today when you see a fair going from town to town setting up mm -hmm. with the amusement park rides and stuff like that. Well, uh, black people used to pack up. And his particular family was similar to like the Jackson Five. You know, it's everybody yeah. part of the group in some way. Well, all talented. All talented. Yeah. Same kind of setup. I mean, that's identical copy, right? And that's the way they made their money, is performing. But 
not the usual kind of performance, almost circus-like, uh, real amazing, uh, gravity-defying yeah. different situations, even with their dancing. His mother was the first black tightrope walker That's in grandma. the United States. That's my grandmother. You get it? So yeah. she's on a tightrope. And then on the ground, you got people like my father tap dancing. I mean, the doing the flips or doing the stuff that makes people do like, what the? That kind of thing. Yeah. But that was their money. Yeah. Same way you see people uh, dancing, break dancing, and doing all the different dances on the sidewalk. Yes. They took their show on the road. So I just wanted to say that to let you know his TV career and radio career came from that. Yeah. But he really started like shooting off like a rocket mm -hmm. in the 1930s, mm. where people, he was able to bring all that to the table. Yeah. Of all that, uh, I mean, I don't like that, but compilation sort of, of yeah, the compilation of talent, perfect word, yeah. to the point where it was, it was so incredible Facts. looking, so factual, <laughs> no fuckery, yeah. it was yeah. factual. <laughs> They're sitting back doing <laughs> like this. There was kind of like no denying him, yeah. because of where he came from and the work he put in. Yeah. So, so once he had the opportunity he was, he was to platform, yeah. you can't help but put him or insert him into your product. Mm -hmm. Because people are gonna look at whatever you put together, but by bringing this piece in, mm -hmm. it puts a different and creates much more value. It puts a different spin on things. Okay. Kind of know what I'm saying? I know. So he yeah. represented that. So yeah. he was on Gone with the Wind. People don't know that because he was disguised as an older, sort of grandfather-looking uh, house servant or butler, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But he was real significant in the movie, and that was one of the biggest productions ever since Hollywood and it still has records that are attached to it yeah. so that was like a majority of all white cast you know the whole bit mm -hmm. but then he spawned into doing things that where he starred in it and he got an opportunity to show uh, why he was positioned yeah. you know how he Black History Month, right here. Yeah, that's, yeah, and that's, it, and that's it, true. I didn't even think period, about it. Period, I'm working period. on the piece now, and I'm going to yeah. share you. I'm going to share that video with you. Okay. Of yeah. late, I went back to Vegas, yeah. and I've been touring different uh, the path of my you father's been journey. Yeah, I'm just like to yeah. Vegas and back. Yeah. Oh, I so thought I you found, meant like you I wish like I was. Like. That's all you doing <laughs> is professing. He knows <laughs> that this is about to happen. See what he's saying? <laughs> he just threw it out there. So thank you for letting me know where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, absolutely. Yeah. That, in the long run, that's something that I would try to participate in. Okay. Absolutely. Would you bring Michael in? You really like to do like <laughs> <laughs> No, I showed you know, him. I showed him. I showed him Michael. Look, yeah. I could do Michael if he don't do it right. I, I showed. I showed him Michael, <laughs> and he was like, he he couldn't believe it. Oh, he's amazing. He couldn't believe it. I got to give him his props. He looked just yeah. like him. Uh, e Casanova, it's spellbinding. Yeah. When you look at the dude, when I've seen him, now he automatically looks like Mike, but just like Mike, Mike would put on different makeup, different costumes to represent whatever he's trying Felt to. Felt like we uh, was with Mike when I was So this guy would jazz himself up, just like Michael would do, right? It's crazy. I was so we're watching him, him transform, right? And it just felt, it was like a little eerie in a way. Yeah, because you, know, you were staring dead. at him like you've seen a ghost at times. Yeah. I caught you. I caught, I'm there. I caught him like this. Like, what the? This this don't make no sense. Yeah. You know I didn't believe him. I was like, I, I didn't believe that he was gonna be like so much like Mike. Like yeah, his it's hand motion. Everything.
<laughs> What's going on, fucker? I don't know, son. <laughs> <laughs> Who did? Yo. Who? Huh? The baby. What, what baby? Your baby? I don't have any babies. There's no stolen babies here. <laughs> did you call your baby a slut, ma'am? Oh, Liza. Oh, shit. Got a name. Who's in the backseat? Let's get that nigga then. Somebody in the backseat. Is that the baby? Is there a baby in the backseat? I gotta remind you that all hashtags, hideous, nephew, and Nephilim. Neph? Nephilim. Nephilim? Are they still alive? Alright, it's time to be out, my nigga. It's time to go. That I am the woman who protected. And still do. Shit, shit just kind of changed. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but um, she's calling on the spirit of her racist ancestors. All right, um, that was fun. Yeah, it was. All right, have a good day. Have a good day. All right, get some Carl's Jr. Hey, uh, first and foremost is that it's Black History Month. At the time that this is being recorded, um, and this month is treated like it's special, when in reality, we're always special. Black history is going on around us all the time, every day. You do not have to be dead to have your accomplishments considered. Um, I, I feel like we put more value in people, especially um, of our race. Uh, we put more value in them and their efforts when they're dead. And that goes to things that everybody can relate to, like musicians, like Tupac and Biggie and things of that nature, but not just old things that we've accomplished in the past in so far as historical um, paradigm shifts that we have been um, uh, responsible for, uh, but there's things right now going on that, that are happening that we need to know about and need to be updated on these things because it's not in our faces all the time. So we think that they don't exist. We always see white people and other races accomplish things and there's nothing wrong with that, but what about us? That would be nice. We don't have too many role models. We have drug dealers and rappers and basketball players and all kinds of things. But the man that we um, interviewed today, Mr. A and his father, it goes to show that black history is alive and it's well and it's breathing and it's here. And if you dig deep enough, and sometimes you don't even have to dig, if you just look, you can find it. And it's important because it shapes the world around us. So I wanted to add that in before we before we get out of here. Or before you click off. Facts and fuckers. I'll stand much more. Oh, boss, that chair's deceptive, destructible, distrustworthy, and this is the voice of experience. What are you talking about? Boss, you sit in that chair and things happen. Quick. Oh, don't talk nonsense. It ain't nonsense. It's serious. Look, boss, I sat in that chair just like this. Cross my leg just like this. Lean back. Here I go again. But that's a silly way to leave the room. Why didn't he use the door? Mr. Thomas!